Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. Um, we are working on some more mechanical parts um, of the house this week. We are trying to get the water supply lines at least finalized. Um, from the design perspective, I still need a few more parts, but in general, I uh, want to just get that all fin finished. So we're working in the basement around the uh, hot water heater and the cold water supply and then upstairs in the attic. So I need to order one more elbow, a 90 here, for the blue one inch um, cold, uh, cold water circulation um, and supply. I basically um, have a full uh, cycle in both of them. I basically um, have recirculation on this one and on this one I, on, the cold water, on the cold water I just feed continuously from both sides in just so that we don't have as much water pressure loss when um, it reaches the last uh, bathroom. And then um, <clears throat> on the hot water, it just continuously um, cycles through the hot water heater. So in case it starts to cool down, it will get hot, um, hot immediately again, which means basically the only cold water in the hot water lines is the last bit, the short um, little sections that are going to the faucets from the um, whole cycle. So in that sense, we have basically instant hot water and that's kind of what we are looking for. Um, this also basically um, serves as kind of a buffer in case 
um, you know, the hot water heater is uh, starting to slow down a little bit. It, um, this hot water is still hot. Um, obviously there's quite a, a lot of water in that, in that pipe. It just continuously goes through um, and just feeds cold water in when needed. Since I'm trying to finish all the water supply in the house, I need a few more pieces also over here. I need another one of those uh, distribution uh, parts here that needs to go over here, there's valves, and so that I can feed it to all the different spots in the bathroom. Reason why I'm always doing a four piece instead of just doing two simple valves here or three valves over here is this gives me the opportunity in the future if we ever want to do a kitchen up here, which obviously it makes it a nice um, little apartment up here in the attic. We have the option and we still have um, ex extra instead of just having to extend it. Um, I'm gonna cap the top off here so that um, also again in the future if I ever needed a bathtub up here that needs a three quarter inch supply, Obviously, I don't have, I only have a half inch supply here. I can always grab that from up there. So, need to buy a few more parts, a few more valves, and then um, also I don't have enough half inch uh, tubing. I will have to get that too, so that I can run it to all the bathrooms, sinks, and toilet and everything. Well, since it's Father's Day weekend this week, I'm trying not to work so much here on Sunday. Um, I got a few supplies for next week. We are going to start the fans um, ventilation in the bathrooms. We need to install that too. I think we're gonna have a very easy time in the majority of bathrooms. Um, the only one, which is the attic bathroom, uh, the master one, is gonna be a little more difficult because we obviously have to install it somehow that we can get down into the soffit there. On all the other ones, we're just gonna install it into the wall because um, there's no regulation that you have to vent it out to the roof or anything. So we're gonna vent it as the shortest distance right out the, the wall um, on each side of the, of the building. Well, I wanted to also say happy Father's Day to everybody, especially uh, my dad and my wife's dad. Um, a lot of people always wonder kind of how I know so much about construction and kind of why I'm doing this all myself. Um, actually, my parents built their house um, around the time when I was born in Austria all by hand themselves um, and so we did at home when we had it when we had a project uh, for example when I was a teenager um, I wanted to kind of have a little bit more space and so we finished out the walkout basement area in our house we've uh, we finished all of that stuff and get it all uh, got it all remodeled so it can be a habitable space we did it all ourselves too so um, that's kind of where I learned it so um, I wanted to say thanks again um, to my dad um, of kind of giving me the time and energy just to teach that all um, and learn that all together. So I pr really appreciate it. Happy Father's Day everybody. Thanks. I know not everybody has been here the whole time. So I'm gonna uh, explain what is missing on some of the water lines that we still have to do. So we have a PEX tubing run to most section. The only area where I haven't finished yet is the kitchen downstairs and um, then also upstairs in the attic, I have not run any tubes there. Additionally to that, I only finished a few of the 
sink areas here in um, the kids bath uh, bathroom and the laundry room for example so I still have to finish um, stubbing those out correctly so that when we put the drywall on that it's all finished and it doesn't just wiggle around so we want to um, get that all secured and then uh, we are still waiting um, for the orders of the shower valves, the rough-in valves. We need some special ones because um, we are uh, most, most common in the United States. It's always just you have a tub and then um, a shower right on the top of the tub. In our case, we don't need that. We don't have that um, um, in, any, uh, in any of our configurations. So therefore, we are um, needing to special order some of those rough-in valves because they will uh, be two function uh, valves where one option will be a just a hand sprayer and then we might have a rainfall shower in some of the uh, shower areas and then we need some special valve for also for the tub which is standalone tub and since that is a little higher flow to fill the tub quicker we obviously need a special valve for that too so as soon as those are coming we will install that too but in general we want to at least have all the tubes um, PEX tubing run to everything so that um, the next step will be faster when we are done plus um, having it all run means we can actually work on the insulation even though we don't have the rough valves there uh, finished yet one thing I wanted, want to point out about the PEX but really not just about PEX but any tubing um, or uh, plumbing that you're doing um, in your building um, I would um, recommend not to put them on exterior based walls because um, even if you insulate behind them a little bit uh, there is a chance of course of freezing um, since you don't have the full insu um, insulation value in that same type of wall so therefore I would always recommend to put them inside of stud base that are just interior um, so that you don't have um, risk of freezing obviously that's not always possible but it just, I would just recommend it. I personally pre uh, prefer not to do it in the walls and I will actually not do it. I know right now I'm in the bathroom with the exterior wall and I have those tubes run right here, but this is just so that they're out of the way. Um, and then as soon as we get those valves, we will install them at a spot that is interior and we will um, route these um, tubes to those spots. Well, I think this is it for this week. Have a wonderful time and I will see you the next time I turn on the camera. And again, happy belated uh, Father's Day um, to everybody out there.